Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to MLB The Show 18 where today we are going up against the St. Louis Cardinals in what will be a three or four game series. can't quite remember. Look at the calendar. But as you can see there we are back up to second after that disappointing loss the other day against the Braves where it was just a comedy of errors to say the least. It was really quite embarrassing on my part. Just so many errors in the field and then... I think we had three in total in the end, so it was quite embarrassing. But today, now unfortunately, we've got Steven Matz on the mound, who, as you can see there, judging by those stats of a 0-2 start and a 7.88 ERA, this is going to be a tough uh, pitching game, that's for sure, to say the least. I think the last time we went out on the field with Steven Matz on the mound, we actually had to bring him out of the game, I think, in like the fourth inning or something ridiculous. So hopefully today... It will not be the same, and we can get on top of these Cardinals with Matt. So we are at Bush Stadium, away from home today, in this series. But boy, is it going to be tough. We just need to hopefully make up for our pitching on the batting side. <laughs> I think that's the, the main goal. No, it should be a fun match. Tuesday night baseball now from the home of the Cardinals, Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Tonight we continue the road trip with the first of three between the New York Mets and the St. Louis Cardinals. Number 97 makes his big league debut right after this. Michael Walker is on the mound for the Cardinals. Dan, any thoughts? Yeah, Matt, his last start wasn't a particularly good one. Lasted five innings and ended up taking the loss. He's a much better pitcher than that, and I think he's looking to at least, hopefully, pitch into the sixth or seventh inning in this one. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes, and we are set for baseball here this evening. All righty, here we go. Tuesday night baseball here at Bush Stadium. First of three here on and this Rose, uh, Rose first Reyes. Jose Reyes will be one. first up to the plate. And fellows, we take a look at the Redbirds pretty good so far as Jose. Tonight. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do. In this sport, you have to have Nice, get down, get down, get down, get down. You have to... he oh, what a play. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Taking another look at it, the ball. Damn, I thought we got lucky there. But he's on the full Ooh. run and dives to make the catch. Full nice elite play right there. stretch. Wow. Okay, it's a tough start. Here's Juan Ligares. Juan. Ah, oh, damn! It's gonna be another pop right center field. Nice. Is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Four pitch innings so far. God, I need to take some. The Mets. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with as Drupal Cabrera. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands. Always seems to turn in a good at bat. See, everyone is above 250 except for Todd Frazier, so it's not a bad start to the year compared to. Well, usually I really struggle with batting on here on MLB Live. The show, or whatever it used to be called. All right, join us. Time to smash it. First offering on its way. Oh wow, Joseph, that is that appalling. Ah, oh, come on, wake he came up. came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I know he swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here, but if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low, we got action. And oh my God! What is on. going on? See the ball, Joseph. Come on! That one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, aye, 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 aye. threw his timing off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I think that was just falling out of the zone, but we caught it. Todd Frazier on deck will have a chance to bat this inning. I guess that was a. Hey, slider nice or what that was. Hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up on base, all that matters. Monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. 
First inning, first hit. All right, now. This is going to be a tough one, but let's see if we can get Frazier on base. Come on, Todd. Show me the money. Yeah, it was a circle change, so I thought it was a slide in the mind. Okay. Okay, okay. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. And that one just missed outside. That's better. Frazier. Or the top That's better. He's affectionately Eight called. pitch inning was selected in the first on the next pitch that we've in the draft of 2007. Sort of semi fought yeah, our way back. Himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with ah, the too early. You go in the high rounds and you call a red fastball. This guy has nice pick. Wow. It's alright. Fastball way outside. Not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. And there are the umpires working this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He's Ooh. he will give a little bit on the corner. Shuffled off there. Inside and outside. So you got Jay Bruce next umpire, up. If we can get him on, him then we definitely have a home run opportunity. Let's see if we can walk Frazier. Just can't chase anything. Come on. Focus. Oh shit, there was the walk pitch. Fuck. All right, three, two, oh, he two gets outs, me with that cutter. He's got me twice we'll moving, now. So we'll see what Come happens. on, Joseph. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Yeah, baby. Woohoo. Can't well, get me that time. Quick work of the first two guys this half inning, getting two quick outs, but then he gives up a base hit and now the walk. We'll see if he has it in him to draw the line in the sand and get out of this. Here's Jay Bruce now. His career line against Waka. He's got three base hits in 31 tries. He's gone down on strikes Come on, 12 Jay. times as well. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh fuck! I thought it was. I thought that was gonna be a cutter. So I. Ah <laughs> oh, damn it! Two left for the Mets. It's the Mets nothing. Redbirds stepping up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Steven Matz to be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start. All right, here we go, Matz. Come on. He definitely needs to start. Get it working today, mate. Than he has up to this point. It's been an awful be start to the season. To see if he can turn it around in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Here we go. No and a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Fellas, these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, I'm, I, I've been really impressed with this team, especially on the recent road trip to start to it. They're three and one after four games, playing really fun. Yes. Down baseball from offense to defense. Soft first out, but together. it's an out. <laughs> now a moment here in St. Louis to look at the Cardinals' starting lineup. Hero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Yeah, you take a look at this lineup they're running out today. And they got their work cut out for him with the sinker baller on the mound on the opposition side. They're going to have to see the ball up. They're going to have to work the home plate umpire. Can't be given four to six inches off the inside half or he's going to have a field day pounding that sinker in there. Should be interesting to see right out of the chute if he's got the good one or not. The first delivery to him on the way. Breaking ball in for a strike. Nice. Gets above the curveball. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out.
Yes. Yes. Big strike. I'm no hitting expert, but you can't take a swing that's a whole lot more uglier than that one. The one two. Ah, oh, come on. Driving. That's a base hit in the center field. Oh, we just had that guy on the ropes as well. Oh, damn it. Both of them hit on an absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's the same. Both hit. In now, Tommy Pham. As the first oh. pitch to him is swung on and missed. I like that double play. One. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. A handful of plate appearances, and he's gone four for six. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. The 0 1 pitch. And a breaking ball stays outside. Ozuna leads off first with one away. Line oh, come on, catch that, catch that, catch that, catch that, catch that, catch that. Nice. Is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Batting fourth, the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. So that brings in the power-hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. First pitch on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Two out with the man at first. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ah, damn, I really wanted that, that one to hit. Back it just doesn't have the accuracy, Boy, Mats, but then usually a lot of guys that are not accurate have pace to back them up, and he just doesn't have the pace, right Steven. Quality take. Hit hard on the ground yes. Second. Uh, we'll we'll see how he goes today. That's a no run first inning, <laughs> which is good. Nothing, nothing Some of the fa famous cards there on the stadium. That's really cool. I really like that graphic. Next for the Mets, Adrian Gonzalez. He'll get us started in the Never top seen of the that second. Before at a ground of any sport, really. Here comes the first pitch. Ah, uh, got underneath it. God, at least I'm getting back to the ball, but I just hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The St. Louis Cardinals attack you on defense in this fashion. And we have to focus on Matt Carpenter right here. This guy bounces around, can play a number of different positions, and has a good enough arm to play them all. I just realized, why is there two number 52s? They got Michael Watch, Watch I can't even say the fucking name. Tommy Pham. They both got 52 as their number. I don't know. Digging Maybe it's just a baseball thing. It just sort of gets to me. That's, the <laughs> it's one of those things that sort of, of the things this guy would like to that you don't really like think of, but once you see it, you're like right sort of pitching. sticks in your head. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. All right, come on. Ball one to start the at bat. Curveball in the dirt. Home. Is a fastball that misses. Cabrera. A Venezuelan-born ball player. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This Ooh, is a game of adjustment. Three and you don't hang around this long if you're not prepared. See if we can get another walk here. Travis Darno waits on deck. Here's the 3 and 0 pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. No score here as we play inning number two. Hey. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. All right, taking some more pitches off this guy. See if we can end it here, come on. Oh, 
And Whoa. he misses here for ball four. Another walk. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Next up for New York, Travis Darno. First shot for him here with a run. Come on, Travis. Now and one away. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and one the count. Way behind on that. Runner at first here, one man out. And oh, pretty nonchalant that time by Molina. Come on, get there, get there, get there, get there. The tag and safe. He is yes. safe on a very close play at the bag. Nice. And forget about the double play now. He'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the graphic here isn't oh, going to no. show just how far that. All right, that helps. The strike zone. Take some that pressure off. That wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. The one-one is laid off way outside. for ball two. Now the two-one. Nice, gone, absolutely demolished. Woohoo! That one was hit hard. It's a two for Dino as well, he's not really a power hitter. Second home run early in the year as the Mets are Nailed. out in front now, two to nothing. Big second inning lead. We managed to Everybody has heard of a hitter get a curve or a slider that just hangs. Well, this Cabrera was on cutter. base and then it just hangs Dino right there sent it out to the stands. The plate, and he didn't miss it. Can't leave a pitch like that to a professional hitter. Well, well it's a pace 111 so miles an hour. Good night. Into the box Come on, Matsy. Steven Matz. Now a bunt Oh, what a here. bunt. Get there. He's going to get there. Oh, it's just not quite enough pace. <laughs> that was a really good bunt, though. Well, you know, he had a good that was close. Right there. The infield was playing that back, was close. It's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react, and they take care of him at first. Stepping in All right, and come on, Jose. Just Jose send it. For one here in the early going. Just send it. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. I thought that was going to be another cutter yeah, guys, as well. The key to hitting in the big leagues is to hit off the heater, and this guy is obviously sitting something else. Sent on the ground. Oh, get there, get there. Yes! Base hit. Wow. Bit lucky to avoid that short stop, but very nice. Or second base, I don't know. I always get my positions mixed up in baseball. Starting to think about it a little bit, you know. You get past that week, Juan. you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games, now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hidden streak going. Waka a check at first, and he just <laughs> manages to get his hand in. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ah, circle change and misses too high. Great execution of that change up right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front on that one. Ah, fuck. second. Jerko has it. Throw in time and the side is retired. It's okay. Two run lead. Very nice. Here's Matt Carpenter. He's hitting just south of 300 in April. First pitch coming. Come on, Matt. Nice. nice. Sinker, tough Sinker on the one. corner. Hey, if he's going to be able to dot up his sinker down in a way like that all game, you are in for a situation where you're going to see a lot of ground balls and a lot of weak contact. Come on, Steven. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Oh. Looks at a sinker over the inside that looks part of the plate. Pretty close to me. Hey, nice. Like the aggressive nature oh, and two. Pitching with. He's got focus. He's commanding the fastball, really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. This is hit the other way out toward Three pitch field. out. Under it, oh, Lagarde. God, I thought he was going to miss that. There's one away. 
Okay, here's how the Mets are lining up defensively. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team, trusting pitchers to execute pitches. Here's Jed Jerko now. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. He's one for four. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Was that? <laughs> now a check swing, but it's struck Got him. one anyway, says the home plate on fire. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Nice. That heavy sinker for strike number two. The one two pulled high nice. in the air out to left field. Ligares is under it. Makes the play, and there are two guns. That's two outs. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. We'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch on its way. Drill. Oh, are you line. kidding me? And that's through for a hit. Oh, you oh, fucking you retard. Come and on. Look at this. Molina trying for three. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Epic fail. Well, wow, it looked like he was carrying a piano around the bases on that one, but somehow he makes it all the way around the third for a triple. Give credit where credit is due. Nobody in the park, including me, thought he had that in him. Now in the box, Jerry Mendez. And as a former late-round draft pick, it really speaks to the hard work he's put in at the minor league level to make the opening day roster here. Yeah, you just don't have the opportunities to fail when they invest minimal money in you. It shows how hard this guy has had to work to grind through the minor leagues and get to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good breaking ball that time in for a strike. I like that he used the curveball to get ahead there. That's a tough pitch to hit in this lefty lefty matchup. So if you can get it over the plate on the first pitch it can be pretty effective. He said here's the 0 1 hit on the ground nice down come the first up. baseline and they'll escape danger here after the two out got triple him as the inning is over. No damage done after the two out triple. We're back at Bush Stadium right after this. Digging in to try it again. Yoenna Cespedes. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Come on, Yoenis. Ah, this fuck. Down to third. That was a really slow breaking ball. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. Here's Todd Frazier now. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, Sends damn it. One out of play for strike one. One out, nobody on. Ah, oh, come on.
into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Way outside. Come on, let's get back into this one. Ah. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too. Yes, get down, get down, get down, get down. The gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Digging for second goes Frazier. And he'll pull into second with one away. Nice. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Stepping in now, Jay Bruce. Ah, come on. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. All right, come on. Let's end this. So a man at third here with two guns. Come on, Adrian. Left-handed hitting Adrian Gonzalez will get a shot. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring more here would be huge. A ball Come and a on. strike to the Mets' first baseman. One and one, here it comes. Nice. And misses with a high changeup that time, a dangerous pitch. Swing ah, shit. Why did I swing? I don't know why I swung at that. That was really embarrassing. <laughs> so no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Mets two, and the Cardinals nothing. Leading off the inning, Michael Walker, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. All right, well, we still hold a 2-0 lead at the second of, um, at the bottom of the second. So all is well so far. We just got to keep up this pitching from Matt. So I just can't believe we didn't score there. That was a golden opportunity. Should have scored. As he'll the go around with it. 0-2 now. Strike. Come on, Matt. And now pitch on the way. Come on, punch him out. Punch him out. Punch him out. Oh, nice, 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 nice. One down. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. Digging in for his second at-bat. Jose Martinez. Martinez. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. First pitch on its way. Another slow breaking ball that misses down low. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and a strike nice. to the Cardinals first baseman. Yes. Over the outside corner for strike two. On the ground to third. Throw on to Gonzalez. Two down. Out number two. The left fielder number twenty-three, Marcel Ozuna. 
Riding in once again, Marcelo Zuna, a Silver Slugger recipient for National League outfielders a year ago. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that one right down Main That was Street. dangerous. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Nice. Back, a swing and a miss. Two out, nobody on. Oh, two pitches, a sinker that misses, but he's still in command, one and two. I know you're standing on the mound, you got two quick outs right here, but you have to respect the fact that this lineup can hit you and hit you in a hurry. Number two hole batter up at the plate. He has a chance to get on and get the big boys up. And a breaking ball. Uh -huh. on Got him. The side is retired. That was a one, hit two, it. Three, one. The Cardinals. They're down two to nothing. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera as we begin the top of the fourth. Second baseman and Drupal Cabrera. Come on. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No balls and a strike to count. Oh and one delivery. Missed with a breaking nope. ball. Now the one and one pitch is in there for the second strike. Change oh, up wow. swung on and missed for the first down. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Yeah, oh, damn. The young's got it. Uh, oh, high, high throw. One, but he's able that to keep close. Foot Come on, Jason. Bag, and that becomes out number two. So here's the Mets pitcher, Stephen Matz. First offering on its way. Oh. Strike one to start the at bat. Come on, Matsy. The wind up and the 0 1. Popped him up. And no one will get this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh. Back up the middle. Straight up the ground. But he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Well, you don't see that all the time. Pitcher deep in the count, 0-2, and D. Rose still manages to sneak out a base hit on an 0-2 count. You know what? He never lost his toehold there, Dan. He seemed like he wanted to hit. He was aggressive. He battled and was able to be rewarded with a nice base hit. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Oh, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Fam is after oh, it. damn. And that I got excited. I think it got too far under it. I thought it was going to drop down and be a cutter or, they hold a two -nothing lead. or a off pitch, or off pace pitch, off speed pitch. Play the left, big English shows. <laughs> 
still. Matz gets a hit. <laughs> That's a big one. He's for one thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. 0 oh, and one count and the pitch. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. The 1 1 home. And this is bounced foul near the secret weapon, Jose Akendo, in the third base coaching box. Here's the one and two delivery. And he just misses with a curveball. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the inning. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. As we look at all five pitches, notice the location, all five down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. All right, come on, one down. So that brings in this has been a good start by Matt. Only I think two hits so far. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Change up stays Come on. outside and he's behind 2 and 0. Oh. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2 and 0 oh to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed nice. stuff. A wave and a miss at the 2 0 -oh sinker. 2 and 1. Come on. Hit that. Hit. Hard nice. hit ball to second. Right to Cabrera. Throw on to first. Two gone. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle, and he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. The next to bat for St. Louis, Matt Carpenter. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Here comes the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. And the pitch. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Hit hard on Got the him. To second. Oh, and Cabrera oh, what the f Oh, my God. I wasn't even no concentrating. I looked away. Wow. Not particularly oh my god. There. And as a result, he'll be slapped with an E4 on the planet. Striding into the box, Jet Jerko. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Oh, and 2 pitch is a curveball that misses 1 and 2. Hit out towards second. Got him. First, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Cards leave one. They trail things here two to nothing. 
Alright, well, thankfully that error didn't come back to haunt us. Digging in once again, Juan Ligares. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Juan Ligares. All right. Now here's the pitch. Quick. Come on, get up, up there. The get up. Oh, Dion gathers it in, and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Oh, she couldn't quite sneak that one through. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Now to the plate, Joanna Cespedes. He's one for two in the ball game. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and Joanna Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. Oh, come on. God, Joseph. Throw in time oh, two first pitches in two. Two, I mean, uh, two pitches, two outs. How about it? Third baseman, Todd Ready for another shot now. Todd Frazier. He doubled his last time through. Oh, come on. Here's the first pitch to him. Drilled to the Get right through. side. Oh, what a stop. My God. First, three pitches, three, three outs. Pitch oh, I thought I was going to get that one. Is retired. Three Cardinals are doing really well in the outfield today. This gorgeous play at second base. Uh, another Back full stretch lead. Tuesday night after this. Damn it. Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian here as it'll be Yadier Molina to lead things off. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. This is hit down the right field line, but it's gonna get out of play for strike one. Here comes the 0 1. And here's a foul ball just off to the right as they get ahead nice. of him here. Nothing in two. That's a ball. Oh. For that low inside corner, but he missed so with it. Close. One and two. The one two is taken oh, for ball oh. two. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Come on. And good ah. patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. If you're ever going to see a position player go to the mound, it's going to be in a situation like this. Get him to relax a little bit, focus on his mechanics, and get that fastball back in the zone. Can't allow this guy to lead off wall. Hit on oh, the ground, the third. And all oh my God! What's wrong with you guys? And well, come on, pick the ball up, one of you. Fucking hell! Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, you were in a spot like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Here it comes. Owen oh, won the count. Oh, man, we got unlucky on that one. I just don't know what's wrong with my Molina, fielders this year. They've been absolutely fucking useless. Out. Really struggling with the errors. It's the only sort of issue we've been having. I think we've lost two games this year, not by pitching, but, well, mainly, like, a pitching is another huge aspect of it for them to put it in play in the first place, but. Yeah, it is. It should not be as bad as what it's been. As a fielding unit, 
you've got to help your pitcher out. And pretty awful in the field so far this year. Take something off, but it's one and two now. Mendez has been a great story in the baseball world lately. His game has taken some major strides since his early days in the minor leagues, and he's had to prove himself time and time again to get to this point. Got him. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A.B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Line oh, to the right on. side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further <sighs> than second as there are two aboard now. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Jerry Mendez has just collected his first hit in the big leagues and as is customary there's the ball being sent into the dugout someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah good for him and congratulations. Listen he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment and he's obviously trying to play cool right now but you can bet inside his head he's on top of the world. Dexter Fowler will get a chance to swing Needs the bat to here and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Oh, ball and no strikes. One one is a curveball taken low for a ball. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Well, Wouldn't bite uh, on a good on. sinker that time that missed. He's had come on, that's you get it back, mate. Hasn't walked the soul. But we find ourselves in a three ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. The three and one pitch he is in there for a full count now, three and two. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Line toward right center. And this will oh be just God. what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. All right, now we're in trouble. All the way from first, it's now a 2-2 ball game. Always nice to get some run production from the bottom of your order, right? That double brings in two runs, and the top of the order is coming up here. This could really be a big inning. Standing in now, Jose Martinez. Short no fucking hell. And that's through for a base hit. Come on, Matsy. Hey guys, there had to be something in the scouting report right there. For him to be on top of that OO change up the way he was, that was pretty special. Here's Marcelo Zuna as he'll watch a breaking ball that comes back to catch the outside corner for strike one. Nice. Good curveball. Strike two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? This is a great spot to be in as a pitcher. You have two strikes, you can bury one for a potential strikeout, and at worst, keep the ball down in the zone. You might be able to turn one pitch into an ending ending double play. And a possible double play ball here for Cabrera. A bare hand for one. Yes! First, and it's a double play, although the run oh, right. from third. Still had to give up a run, but it's a good double play. 
Ready once again, Tommy Pham. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Yeah. Looks at a curveball on the outside corner. And that one just missed outside. Now for four innings, he was great. But here in the fifth, he looks like a completely different guy out there. That happens a lot when a pitcher is facing batters for the second or third time in a game. Two balls and a strike to count. Three runs already home here. That's going to even up the count at two and two. The two two. Gets him looking Got at him. the Got him. Alright. Well, we gave up a two nil lead. It's amazing how quick the game of baseball can change, so but we can still get back into this one. Only down no by one. And no one left. It's just a shame because. It's just the had a couple of poor the pitches Mets there from Mats, and that's all it took. Sean Gilmartin takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 36, Sean Gilmartin. Here's Jay Bruce now. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Jay Bruce. All right, come on. Come on, Jay. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Come on, yes. Right get down, get down, get down. Oh. An Adam ball right to him for the first down. Ah, the shift is so hard to hit against. Now batting number 23, first baseman Adrian Gonzalez. One away now for the Mets in the sixth. And stepping in now, the slugging first baseman Adrian Gonzalez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ah, and the first pitch come is on. Top foul right at home plate at strike one. Three twos our score here in inning number six. Now a swing oh, from Adrian. Me, and this a really is on the ground out to second. Throw right there, and that takes care of Gonzalez. Two gone now. The battle. Second baseman. And dribble Cabrera. Riding in once again as Dribble Cabrera. He went down on strikes last time up. All right, it's been a poor, poor start to this inning. Oh, God, Here come comes on. the first pitch. Nope. And oh. a fastball just a bit up. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the 1 0. Misses for nice. the second ball. Two balls, no strikes. Ah, come him on. up. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Clears this one over to nice. the first. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even the soft liner's fault. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. 
Dominic Leone takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. All right, come on. From the stretch. Oh, come on, get out of here. One is this is driven out to deep left center field. And it oh, trouble, on the warning track. God, that was not far off. That was right down the middle. Ends the inning. Damn it. Digging in once again, Paul DeYoung. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Swung on and missed. One and one. The one one. Misses ball two. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Now the two one pitch. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. Oh, come on. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. So that puts the lead off. All right, the it's time to get, get some guys warmed up, I reckon. Well, that's not a bad pitch. He's set and the pitch. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. De Young on it first, nobody out. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Hit out to oh, come on, double play. Cabrera's there. Reyes. Nice. Yes. Double play. Yes, yes, yes. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective good pitch. Good bounce back. That was really good. See it higher in the Just zone go on top of it. That's what you want. That makes it real tough to square up. Here's Jed Jerko now. That jumps off the page at me. He's found that power cord. Hit some huge homers for the cards. One ball, no strikes to count. <laughs> Come on. Now the 1 0. Hit hard. But this is a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Right side. And yes. He'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Redbirds down quietly. They're up three to two. Welcome back to Bush Stadium here in St. Louis. Seventh inning upon us with the Cardinals out on top, and it's time to check out the game summary. To All see right, come on, here. New York. Need to get back on top now. Mm. Brandon Nimmo will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Brandon. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. 
A ball and a strike now. The other Come way on. down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. All right, come on. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a neck high fastball that time. Yes, get down, get down. Yes. All right, just say that. All right, one on. Get him started here in the seventh. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. In now, Jose Reyes as he rips Come on. It Oh, the fuck, the you're kidding me. God. The first right, got one in. Wait, no, 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 no. That one was in. What? Well, they got the challenge that. Base, but one ground ball later, and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. No, I don't think that's. Oh, what? Oh, fucking jeez. Come on. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. Yeah, As with sake. two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Come on. Drive the left. Oh, God damn it. Make the catch to retire the God, man, I cannot get something end, that gets a race. going here. On to the bottom of the seventh. Get up and stretch here in St. Louis. The Cardinals lead it 3 to 2. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Mets. Ready for another shot now. Yadier Molina. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene was a defender first and foremost you can't say that anymore I mean he's all right a really, so really Matt's nice night is over play. not too bad just that one three run inning and I think it was a fifth weekly hit to third but still only three runs is much better than what he's had so far and there's one down now now batter right fielder Harry Mendez Ready for another chance? Jerry Mendez, who picked up his first career hit in his last A.B. I can't begin to tell you, Matty, how much more comfortable this guy is in the box right now as he approaches this A.B. right here. Getting off the schneid nice. and getting a big league knock changes everything. Very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Didn't mess around much in that at bat then. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Greg Garcia will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Pitch popped up. Throw nice. will go to Adrian at first and Three down. the side is retired. Down in order go the Cardinals. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Your attention, please. Now waiting for the Cardinals. Number 44. Blue record pass.
Here's Ioannis Cespedes. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. All right. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. On to the eighth. Wow, he has a quick motion. <laughs> a fastball that's looked at for ball one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1-0. There's a slider that backs up for a ball. You'll hear me say this time after time up here in the booth. You fight so hard to get into these counts. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. They don't happen often. This is a huge spot. Count leverage. Look for him to get loose on a ah. fastball right here. Two and one the count. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Now the 2-1. Takes a big ah. four strike number two. God, it wow, peach. not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Hit the oh, other way out saying. toward right field. Mendez has a read on it. One down. How about it? A look there at our line score as we play the eighth inning here at Bush. Cardinals out in front as they look to try and hang on in front of the home crowd. Here's Todd Frazier now. A hit and two tries for him so far. Here comes the God, first. I can't pitch. believe we didn't send that one to the stands. Swing and a miss Come on, way Todd. behind the big fastball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A little bounce. Uh, That's a foul come on. ball. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam in with that running action on that two seam fastball. Hits are even at seven apiece. Got ah, it. come on. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when chase they're in that one. Mode. Come on. Here's Jay Bruce now. He squares Get it down. up and gets a oh bolt to left center. I can't find Ozuna a gap in the pitch. And he'll make the catch God, to retire this is horrible. Mets go down one, two, three. They're down three to two. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jose Martinez. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. He's ready. No, Here's God. the first offering. And he lays off there, 1-0. Ball in a strike. <sighs> Come on, Seth. Now the one and one pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Well, number 23, Marcel Ozuna. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Marcel Ozuna. He was a double play victim last time around. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes Cespedes. He can't get to it. This one's down. Ready once again, Tommy Pham. And he's over in this one, batting out of the three spot. First pitch coming. Here it is. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Oh, 
Nope. And he just misses with a curveball. The 1 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Ozuna, base runner at first with one out. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. And it's fouled away. The next three two. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. But it bends just foul into the second deck. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep yes. everything on plane. And Gonzalez will tuck this one away for round number two. Now batting. Oh, Digging in and looking for more, Paul DeYoung. It was a single for him in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Frazier is there. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One left for the Cardinals, but they still lead it three to two. St. Louis, Missouri, known as the gateway to the West, and of course... Alrighty, here we go. Ninth inning all comes down to this. Can we get back into this one? We're down by one. Come on. So striding forward now, Adrian Gonzalez. He'll be the one to lead it off, needing one to tie in the top of the ninth. Come on. First pitch on its way. Ninth oh, inning underway wow. now is the first pitch Only is taken a good for one a there. bold strike. Come on. Now here's the pitch. Wow! Two, a fastball that catches this guy's the closing corner. this one out. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Hit back come on, come on, come on, get that. Played on the backhand. Throw on the oh, out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. And this is not an easy play where you have the range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Come on. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. As he oh my god, get through, get through. Second. Yes! Yes! And he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Got to be a little frustrated on the offensive side. Yeah, everybody's getting knocks and the batting averages are flowing right now, but nobody's come up with that big runner in scoring position, two out knock kind of feel that really is going to break this game open. <coughs> All right, come on. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Oh, come on, get down, get down, get down. Fly ball to right center. Fuck. Mendez will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big believe out it. number two. All right, who's going to be the hero? Wilma Flores. Come on, Wilma. Wilma Flores will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Wilma Flores. Oh, 
All right, here we go. Can we do it? Come on. Oh, get out of here. He got a lot of it deep down the line. And trouble it is. Come it's on. down for extra bases. So now they'll have two men in scoring. No, I wanted oh. the two out double. Shit, I really wanted that to to try and make it. Squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised Could've in made there that. with relative ease. I tried to, I don't know, I must have pressed the wrong button. I tried to get, um, can't see who it is. Intentional walk. Loaded bases, come on. And with first base open, it looks as though they'll go after the next guy with the force at any base now in order and two men gone. And this is the right move here. With first base open, take the bat out of this guy's hands every single time. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a Juan Lagares. Zero for four. Come on, we need him to pull a hit out of the bag now. Come on, Juan. Your team really needs you like they need it right here. You have to be able to just get someone on. Out of your mind right now. Someone home, sorry. Two outs, loaded bases. <laughs> this is baseball right here. Come on. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Oh, come on, Joseph. Come chasing that, that shit. It's 0 1. Hey, I love the aggressiveness right here and wanting to be a hero. But this is where you got to tell yourself to relax on, a little come on, come on. bit. I had an old coach tell me one time. When the bases are loaded, just concern yourself with getting the guy in from third. <laughs> Fouled away. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. All right. Two outs. Come on. I mean, two strikes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And oh, he's hit him. He's hit him. Oh, my God. He was 0-2 and, and he's hit him. Oh, no way. If you could get a luckier stroke of luck. That is like, oh my god, he's hit the so batsman on 0-2 with Still one out with left in the game, and, and we are back in it. Away. And Cespedes has the chance here to end it. Come on. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Alright. Time to be a hero, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Give me one more. The O one. And oh, in the dirt. That time by no, 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 Molina, back, 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 back. But he saved it first as he gets back in time. <laughs> it's getting intense. <laughs> oh, it's getting intense. All right, come on. Come on, Juanes. At third, Reyes. At Show second, me the money. Lugares. At first, two out in the inning. Right. Two pitches here, in the dirt now. Behind the play to keep it at arm's length. Come on, come on, come on. Now the two-one. Oh, three and one. Could we get he a walk? Batter, and now we fall a go-ahead walk. This guy. <laughs> the last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball uh, middle of the plate right here. The three-one pitch. Ground ball oh, sent back up the middle. You're kidding me. On the second Fuck. the force out and the side is retired. I thought I was gonna send that one out of the ground. So Fuck. not a good turn anyway, for this with a huge crowd, stroke of luck. Lead has Hitting the, the bat wow, that you just do not do that. That is the biggest the fail of, of all time, and we are right back in this one. Jerry's Familia comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send this one to extra inning. Here's Matt Carpenter, lifetime against Familia. He's hitless in three at-bats. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. Outside oh. for a ball, one and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Now the pitch. And nice. Keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike two. Oh, 
to two balls and two strikes now. A swing and a shot hit oh. down the corner. Oh, and that nearly Oof. sent us home and sent this crowd into hysterics, but it'll wind up a foul ball. Ground ball, foul down the left side. Hit in the oh, air, no, down get the out, right get out, get out, get out, get out. But oh, no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Gotta die for it. Hit down the third baseline. Throw nice. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other. One away. The batter, number three, second baseman, Jed Jerko. The next to bat for St. Louis, Jed Jerko. He was a ground out victim last time up. Nice. Thinker that time, and he's in control. 0 and 2. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. No. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses. 1 and 2. Count still at Come 1 on. and 2. The 1-2. Now a hard liner, but this will be a foul ball. Now a swing. Nice, oh, straight down the middle. A bit dangerous, but we get away with it. Hold on for the second out. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Hit sharply on the ground. All right, so extra first innings first it is. <laughs> first time we've gone past over. nine this year. One, two, this is going to be a good one. Score remains tied Come on, here we go. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Matt Bowman takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Now pitching and batting in the sixth spot, number 67, Matt Bowman. Now playing second base and batting in the ninth spot. Number 16. Digging in to try it again. Todd Frazier. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Heading off of the mat. Third baseman, Todd Frazier. All right. Here we go. First pitch on its way. Ah. This is chopped Damn foul to home plate. It's 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Rounded down oh. the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Here's the 0 and 2. Line yes! Drive to center get down, field. get down. Yes! And one on. Falls in for a solid base hit. His second the here night. we go. So, with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Fastball middle cut places it right back where it came from. Come on. Into the box, Jay Bruce. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. Come on, Jay. The 0 1. That's nope. over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. The 1 and 1 pitch. And he yep. takes ball two, and it's two and one. Now the 2 1. And a fastball <laughs> just a bit up. On deck, there's Adrian Gonzalez. 
the 3-1 pitch. Runner goes. Oh. Full count now. Go-ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Oh, again, he sends Bruce. it out of play. I know it's a guessing game, Bruce. but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right Oh, she left that one. I think that's going. Is that going out? Softly hit and yeah, fuck, should have left that one. There, walk. Come on. Still staying in this one. Ready with another two strike offering. Oh, oh why did I leave it? Oh, what a pitch. pitch what a pitch. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there, guys. When it's tight like this one was, it looks like a fastball off the plate, then darts back at the corner at the last second. Locked him up completely with that. Alrighty, one out. Come on. That's no. looked the other way out to left. Ozuna oh. is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And God there are two damn. away. Stepping up with the plate as Dribble Cabrera. There are two gone and a possible go-ahead run like first. Here's the first pitch. Oh my this god, underneath it again. Fuck. Ozuna waits Come on, on Joseph. And Get the on top of the ball. Urgh. So striding in, Jerry Mendez. He bats for the fourth time in his career, having already collected his first hit. Nice. Not a bad first day, huh? Yeah, you can never take this day away from him, Matt. No matter what happens in this fourth A.B., he's going to get in his car today. He's going to relive every moment, Ooh. every step that it took to get here. And the fact that he has a batting average when he wakes up in the morning is huge. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Come on, Jerry's. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And this is fouled at the plate. Ah, come on. To short. Nice. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. <sighs> and down. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Colton Wong. Here comes the first pitch. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and it's 0-1. One out, nobody on. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, fuck. And in the left field for a one-out hit. Number nine. All right, come on. Time is it'll now be up to the top the of the winning run the is on way. first. Come on, Jason. Okay, nice focus, piece focus, of hit focus, right focus, there focus, to focus, put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball. Deep oh, no. The gap. And that's in there. Base hit. Okay, now we're in trouble. Come on, Jerry's. Drew Jerry's. Don't forget his name. Right? Come on. Oh my God, this is not good. This is not good. Here's Marcelo Zuna. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's looking to bring home the winning run from third. Oh, it's on the ground to second. And it's over. Can he get his double play? It's and over. They're going to walk off Fuck as sake. winners. They've taken it here in extra innings. Well, the way things unfold, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion, and that's exactly what happened. A walk off for the win? Wow. That sucks. That sucks. And guys, the Cardinals tonight could not have done it were it not for the contributions of this man. Dexter Fowler. Take a snapshot of that. He's our top player of the game. Well, the numbers don't just jump out at you, but his lone hit was a really important one. And sometimes you just need I to come through it. when it matters most. Oh, well, the hero it's another he loss, unfortunately. Just, just by one as well. Damn it. Todd Frazier, though, 2 for 4, has a much better game. And only giving up three runs in the end uh, was the performance of Matt, so not bad. But yeah, Jerry's familiar. First miss close. He usually he's usually quite good, 
I mean, he's I, we do rely on him a lot as the closing pitcher, and he usually doesn't make any mistakes and gets us through. But as you can see there, he'll take the loss uh, and loses the save. So anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Stay tuned as we uh, go. I'm not sure who we're going up against on Thursday, but we'll be back on Thursday for more MLB action. And until then, I'll catch you guys.